In this video, we're going to be going over the circuit vocabulary, and we'll describe conditions that create current in an electric circuit, which is the battery lesson that you watched. Define these vocab words. And you're going to assignment is going to be to create analogies for those vocab words. So let's get to it. First vocab word is circuits. This is wrong. You should already have this written down. We're on page 13. Circuit vocab. Circuit is any complete path in which charge imbalance can flow. If you haven't watched the battery video yet, you should watch that now. Analogy is the path of a riverbed. So the circuit is like the wires in the battery. And whether energy is flowing or not, whether water is flowing down the river, there's still this path that you can see. You can see even if it's dried up where the river used to be and will be in the wintertime when it's raining. V is for voltage. Voltage is a formula symbol capital V. And it's the potential difference in charge within an electric circuit. So if you have this potential difference, is one word for voltage. You can use them the same way. Another word is electric potential energy. Here's your formula. We'll talk about that more later. And we'll use this a lot. The analogy is the water pressure created by a dam. So if we look at this picture here, this is a dam and all the water is built up against this wall. And if it's got a lot of potential energy right now. If the dam breaks, a lot of water is going to be flowing through. Well, we can just call this electric potential energy by saying this is a buildup of positive charge. Down here is a buildup of negative charge and it wants to flow down if you release this blocking. That's why this is an analogy. For voltage is a stored, stored potential energy electron. All right, current is a flow of electricity due to imbalance of charge. You must have a path, though, to eliminate the current. You must have a complete circuit. Formula symbols I, and the unit is amperes or amps. Symbols A, so you might have a 10 amp current. And the analogy is current as a flow of water in a river due to potential energy, right? That's why rivers flow, because they're flowing downhill. So this is a only in current, it's a flow due to potential energy, electric from charge. Finally, resistors. Here's your symbol and formulas. Here's your units. So it could be a 5 ohm resistor. It's the part of the circuit that restricts or decreases current. This is the part of the circuit where work is done. For example, in our, in our little lab that we did, light bulbs are a common resistor. And here's your analogy. Resistance is like a kink in a hose because one kink slows down the flow throughout the entire hose. This is, and I'm going to add to this, and one resistor slows down current in the circuit. So, I did a really long example here because this is your lesson. Your lesson is to create analogies that look like this, and you have to explain both parts of the analogies. Blank is like blank because describe the first part. So describe the first part, and then describe the second part. So you need to do four different examples that include this much detail. And your page will look like this. 
your page should look like. is page 12, titles, analogies. Should take up the whole page. This is your description. And this is your um, picture. And this should be three parts. Analogy, describe part one of the analogy, and describe part two. All right, goodbye.